hey, use code Bengal at sign up on FanDuel. You get a free $20 to play with. Also, check out my links down in the description for Twitter, Twitch, second and third channels for all different types of content that you might enjoy. So be sure to check it out and let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty featuring the Ozark State Outlaws. Obviously today we have the Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns on the board on the schedule. They are two and six overall. We look to get another win here in the Sun Belt. 81 overall, 81 overall. They've got a better offense. We've got a better defense. That's got to be the first time in history that we're actually better than someone. And we it is defensively? We got a good defense? Are you kidding me? I don't know what I'm doing with my voice there, but I don't I don't care for it particularly. We're moving in. We're picking up the W. We got to beat them. They're 1-2 and two in the Sun Belt. We're 3-0. and oh. We have a perfect Sun Belt record to defend. And Ryan Collier is a visiting prospect he's someone that we're going after as i'm sure you guys know the four-star receiver and hopefully this makes it i mean this makes the win today all the more important we need the win hopefully to sway him from going to this school don't want him going colby spencer of course injured for the next couple of weeks and uh or actually he's questionable he may be back next week and scott lewis he'll be coming back in two weeks i thought that was going to be a way uh, longer injury it was out for seven initially Oh, and these jerseys are nice. It's been a while since we've been to this stadium. And um, I feel like oh, we haven't worn our alternates in forever. We're going to do that pretty soon here. But these Raging Cajun uniforms are sick. It's been a few seasons since we've actually been to Cajun Field. Obviously, it alternates in the Sun Belt. So we haven't been here since Season 1. We haven't seen these beautiful uniforms since Season 1. And we're going to start off receiving... Get some points up on the board. Let's win it. We're going to read option. And they came down with a safety blitz. Uh, and they shut that down easy. It's Laverius Varnado. Third and 11. Not a great start for us. And we're going to roll out with Pedro Goddard. We actually have some space. Pedro, you got to be fast. And we're going to slide. Avoiding potential disaster. We're keeping that drive alive. I mean, that's wide open. Go to Ryan Muller. Was hoping we'd get a block, but uh, the, the timing was not right. Should have thrown the uh, the slant. That was rolling Francisco coming across. My bad. Play action. We have that open. This is rolling Francisco. Picking up 10+. plus. Oh, I want to throw that RB. We're going to settle for that route. It's a tight end, Jake Rodriguez. I feel like it's kind of been a while since we've thrown him the ball consistently. We've just seen, you know, such fantastic play from guys like Omar Williams, like Rob Gaither, who's kind of been a little bit absent recently. But Hunter Register has been incredible. Obviously, we have Roland Francisco. Scott Lewis is a beast. We have so many impact playmakers on offense. It's hard to find all of them. And Jake Rodriguez... Rob Gaither, Roland Francisco, they've been some of these guys that have been a little bit um, overlooked with the emergence of Omar Williams, with the emergence of Colby Spencer. We're going to throw that ball on the run. It's going to be touchdown, Jake Rodriguez. And the ringmaster is back. Not making any circus clown interceptions, but making some of these circus throws on the run to the open receiver. This time, it's a tight end. And Ozark State going to take an early 7-0 lead. Way to go, offense. It's going to be a run. This one goes to right. McKeon can't wrap up. And uh, I don't know who actually made the tackle. Was that Devin Robeson? Devin Robeson trying to wrap up. And wraps up Jordan Davis. Loss of one. Third and three. Davis dropping back, and that is wide open. That was my guy. Freddie Stovall wraps up, but it is a gain of 11 and a fresh set of downs. Davis going to run, and he's wrapped up and sacked. It's Freddie Stovall on back-to-back -back plays. Davis going to run again, and he's weaving. Can't do anything. He picks up five. Third and eight. Let's get a stop. 
Davis throwing it up, and it's gonna be an interception. Jeff Fisher, he stays in bounds, breaks a tackle, and is finally pushed out. That's probably his first career interception. He's not really a guy that gets many of those, but already we're forcing turnovers. I don't know what Jordan Davis was doing to throw it up like that. That was pretty ridiculously bad. That's open. There he is. Jake Rodriguez stiff arming down the sideline. So I like to see fighting for extra yardage. Here we go. Kedrick. Ooh, just short of the first down. That's got to be a touchdown. There we go. Rob Gaither just short. Catches the ball and is down at the one. Goddard delivers it perfectly. And Rob Gaither just can't get in the end zone. It wasn't perfect, perfect. A little bit behind him. Gaither made a nice adjustment to make that catch. I think we're going to run the ball here. Kedrick Cunningham. Oh, I wanted to juke back inside, and we're going to lose a couple. Maybe a gain back to uh, back to the line. Gain to zero. Second and goal. Wanted to throw Omar. We're going to go short, and Pedro Goddard goes down. Oh, no. Errol Brown on the sack. It's going to be third and goal now from the 15. We'd love to score another touchdown and go up 14-0. Don't know how likely that is right now. We're going to throw that ball. Ryan Muller holds on. Touchdown. The backup tight end. Muller. We, we talked to him on several occasions. He goes, yeah, it is Muller, not Mueller. Well, some people, of course, incorrectly pronounce his name. But we're going up 14-0. What a catch from the backup tight end. How does he hold on to that one? That's fantastic. And Goddard right now, 10 for 10. We get Colby Spencer back probably next week, but do we even need him? We got the ringmaster. Vote for Pedro. Pedro Goddard. Oh, it's a screen. Did not read that one well at all. Oh, and Devin Robeson can't wrap up. And Higgins can't wrap up. What is happening? Jordan Wright finally forced out, but he picks up 34. It's going to be a run. Davis, how is he still going? He's got great blocking downfield. Chase can't wrap him up. And he has the end zone. Oh, my goodness. Jordan Davis, 45-yard touchdown run. And our tackling has been so good. Until now. <laughs> Until these past two plays. we How do we not get him in the backfield? We got Pancake down the field. He's so fast. They score in 21 seconds. They go 78 yards. Wow. Give me a good block. There we go. Cunningham back up field. That's a good tackle. Oh, my God. Cunningham fumbled. Luckily, it's recovered by Jabari Siegel. I believe he's the starting right tackle. Uh, yeah, that was that was bad. It looked like Jadavion Clowney in the Outback Bowl a couple of years ago. Well, more than a couple now. I was in, like, what, 2013? Third and 13. I don't really like my options. They're blitzing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's good defense. Slippery Pete back out to kick. This is his first punt of the game. And it is a pretty good one. Can't quite get it out of bounds, so we're going to see a return. And uh, it's only a nine-yard return. They're throwing it deep, and that is complete to Jacket. Jacquet, either way, it's a TD as he's gone. Uh, and our lead has disappeared in a matter of literal seconds. They went like what, 150 or so yards in like a combined 30 seconds? Yeah, we suck. <laughs> what happened? That's going to be a tough throw. That's just going to be complete though. Nope, Jake Rodriguez dropped the ball. First incompletion of the day for Pedro Goddard, and it comes at a critical moment. We're going to have to punt the ball back, and 
The Raging Cajuns, I imagine, will score in three seconds, maybe. That's a better punt, though. That's about as good as it gets. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was going to be play action. But, uh, no, they can get more yards running the football. And it looks like Louisiana Lafayette's going to have a shot at the end zone. Four seconds to go in the half. And here it comes. Davis going deep. He's got a man. It's a touchdown. I don't... I don't even know what to say. We came out in man up three deep. And we got torched. This was not supposed to happen. They scored in 13 seconds. Oh my god. And we gotta kick the ball off. This went downhill unbelievably quickly. It's a screen. I read it better than the running back. <laughs> Jordan Wright gonna lose two. That's a big tackle from our big defensive tackle. Daryl Bradford. Go Pedro. Look at the bob of the weave. What a what a play. Was that Hunter Register who just completely took the closest defensive back out of the play? What happened there? We were doing a little bit of swerving. And uh, I don't even know what happened. I think it was 82. I think it was Hunter Register who just totally took the defensive back out of the play. Gave us like an easy extra 10 yards. Oh, we, we can hit that. Goddard deep to Omar. Omar Williams down inside the five. He is such a beast. And Pedro Goddard's having an incredible game. His numbers would be even more inflated if not for a drop by Jake Rodriguez at the end of the half. That ultimately ended up uh, where we allowed seven points to Louisiana Lafayette because we had to give him the ball back. But Kedrick Cunningham has a touchdown, and we are all tied up once again. 21-21. It's a run up the middle. I vacated the gap with Devin White. What am I doing? Learn the position. I know he's a former running back, but I don't have to play to that storyline. At least make the play. Let me be in the right spot. Completely took him out of the play. Oh, it's a read option. Davis has space. We came back with Devin White to make the tackle. But still. Can't be giving up nine yards every play. Oh, I, I've, I've done it again. I've done it again. Devin White can't wrap up. Oh, my goodness. What's happening? Another eight-yard gain. It's been like eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 yards a clip. The defense is not coming out to play. We've done a good job to shut down the pass, like a really good job, but the run is starting to uh, really take a toll. So we another option. This one goes to the running back, and the blocking is so good. Devin Robeson hits Ragas out of bounds, but he picks up 23. What is happening? It's a run. Get on it. Devin White can't wrap up. No. Please tackle. What is happening? And it's a touchdown to Ragas. He just walks right in. Our second half defense, and it will, not even. Our defense out of the first quarter has been terrible. What's happening? Yeah, they just, they just read the screen so well every time. I got to not deliver the ball there and just figure out some other place to go with it. That is not it. We're going to throw that ball. Omar Williams wide open. There's a good juke. A great anticipation and Roland Francisco holds on. Great catch. We're going to go deep. And it's a terrible throw, but it ended up being the best possible spot because the safety playing deep 
didn't even realize it at all. It's a touchdown. Roland Francisco as Pedro Goddard continues his incredible game. We're going to be all tied up at 28 for another Battle of Louisiana. Oh, no. He's got space. Please be faster. Okay. That was uh, almost really, really bad. The screen. Get over there, Devin. He can't wrap up. Thankfully, I think that's Chris Outlaw who did. Was that 15? Yeah. Oh, Mike Lee can't wrap up? Oh, I don't want to live in that world. To screen. He's throwing it. I can't get there with Fisher. But it doesn't matter because Daryl Bradford again makes a big tackle. That's what I'm talking about. Way to go, Daryl. You beast. Way to recognize and reroute and make the tackle. 28-28 at the end of the third. We can easily take the lead here. It's all about how much time do we want to give uh, Louisiana. We're rolling out. We're going to throw it deep. Omar Williams go up and get it. Overthrown. Maybe for the best. We didn't really get that separation. But, hey, we're giving our receivers shots. They're big play guys. Got to give them the opportunity to go up and make big plays. Well, that's incomplete on a on a third down. That was a really was that three and out already? Jesus, that was terrible. Now we're tasked with stopping the raging Cajuns again. Probably won't be easy. Up the middle. Where are you going? He just ran right past him. Was that Devin Robeson? What are you doing? Read option. Devin White's there. Shuts it down. That was actually like a, uh, like a, like a triple option. I didn't even see the way they did that. I don't know. That was a weird play. It's a screen. We can't get there with Devin White. It's a big tackle. Tackle for loss. Don't know who ended up making the play. But uh, what was that? Third and twelve. Time for a big stop. Let's go defense. And that is going to be the flat and out of bounds. Looks like they're in field goal range, so I think they will try it. They'll take the lead 31-28 as long as this is good. It's not that long of a field goal. Looks like it's going to be like, what, 48, 49? Like, that's, that's doable in this game. And uh, he makes it pretty easily. 31-28 now in favor of the Raging Cajuns. Let's get back in this game. Go Pedro. We had our running back step out of bounds. I think it was a running back out of the backfield. I don't know what you're doing. We'll go speed option here. Goddard, don't fumble. We're going to try read option. It's generally been a little bit better for us. Hopefully they commit to the quarterback. We just hand the ball off, but no. They commit and Jake Rodriguez didn't pick up the initial linebacker. What are you doing? Oh my god, that would have been really, really bad if we fumbled. I was expecting a lot more yards. We have that option. We're going to throw to it. Omar Williams on the sideline, first down. That's open. Kendra Cunningham, the former wide receiver, holds on. Oh, Goddard off the mark. That was in the traffic anyway. It's going to be third and ten. As his completion percentage is going way down. They're blitzing. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to settle for the field goal. Goddard can't hit that throw on the run. Are we not in field goal range? How long is this? Fifty-three. Oh, I don't know if Pete Riley can hit fifty-three. Do we have the win? We can always call a timeout. 
We have the win. We're gonna go for this one. Slippery Pete, I need you, bud. Full power, max accuracy, and it is good. Slippery Pete ties the game at 31. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. They're going deep. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Haynes again! What is this, Tyreek Hill? Looks like he's the fastest player on the field by far. 75-yard touchdown. And that's the way they've killed us. I feel like our offenses, our defense has really shut down their passing offense. Except for these, like, two or three gigantic plays. Now we have a minute and 20 seconds to score a touchdown to tie. Goddard, there we go. Just enough speed to get outside. We're going to step out of bounds. Dude, none of our receivers are getting separation now. It is really, really bad. None of them are getting separation. And we're going to take a sack. I'm looking for any option. I'm not seeing any. That's open. Nope. Nope. Defender stepped in front. And now Chris Porter's in the game. Okay. No Pedro Goddard. Strain pack will return soon. What soon, man? The game's over in 30 seconds. And we're down. Third and 21. We need some magic. Ooh. And we don't, we don't get it. We don't get any magic. Try to throw it. It just didn't happen. That is brutal. And um, at 4th and 34, I mean, this game is all but over. Timeout doesn't matter at this point. We're going to call a timeout just to get our better receivers back on the field. But wow, this is a tough loss if that's how this plays out. Because it would take a miracle. I mean, we've seen crazy stuff happen before. And it'll take crazy stuff now. And that is incomplete. Goddard didn't have the arm. Maybe had an option with Rob Gaither. But uh, that is going to be the ball game. As we lose here 38-31. And drop a really, really important game here. To the Raging Cajuns. There at Cajun Field. That's your ball game. Wow. Our defense sucked today. Too many big plays. Way too many big plays. My game rank number four. Oh, that's an ESPN classic. I am not going to rewatch. I'll tell you. Going to player stats here. Pedro Goddard started off really, really well. And his second half was terrible. It, it was really, really bad. Especially the fourth quarter. Run game was pretty solid from Pedro Goddard. Kedrick Cunningham averaged two and a half on the ground. We got sacked with Chris Porter. Got sacked with Goddard. Receiving core. I mean, they were overall pretty good. Three passing touchdowns, of course. So, three receiving touchdowns. And then defensively, I mean, our defensive backs got cooked. Is our catches loud on here? Because, wow. We got absolutely cooked. But, uh, yeah. I guess it's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.